Okay, so I am going to show you how to take the top of this sculpture printer apart. Because, uh, uh, well, I the filament's broken, so might as well show you. So you undo the three screws. And uh, I have a modified top of mine, but uh, the original one works the same way. Uh, this is just supposed to give a bit more air for the filament gear um, to minimize the risk of overheating. So I'm just gonna pull it up a little, check if any of the screws are still catching. If not, lift away. Okay, so in here we have the thing with the spring and the um, wheel opposite the um, filament gear. So I just, uh, don't know if you can tell, just sort of push on this to make this go away. And my filament, as I said, was broken. So I can just pull this out. There we go. Um, now the other one here, because my I just had the nozzle heated, so hopefully I can still Pull this filament out, maybe. Yep, there we go. Ta da! Okay, so for completeness, um, see, I was just, this has been grinding, it's just a, a pin sewing for, you know, keeping thing, fabric together. Um, I would like this wheel to turn can't get it to do so, so I just turn off the printer. Uh, and then can just turn around, just gently moving this. Just scratching the grooves. <gasps> Remember to close your eyes if you blow. Plastic in your eyes will hurt. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you can tell on this. I have a little line on mine. It's just to help me with um, being able to see if it's turning. So, um, as I said, I have a different top of mine. The original one works the same. Um, when you get to the filament gear, that little screw there, it has a tendency to strip. And I am told that they are actually supplying a slightly wrong size of wrench to undo it with. I'll just check. I have two different ones here. Also shown in one of my videos from last year. And I can feel like this is not going to work. So I am just going to find another bit to work with. Alright, I am now armed with an... It's called an H1.5. Um, because that's supposedly the size it is. So I unscrew this. Um, be careful not to lose that one. So it just means I screwed it out a little too much. As long as you don't see it here, it's fine. You can easily put it back on. This is all like magnetic. I have this from a watch set. So... Basically, this is everything taken apart. <laughs> Always good to clean things out a little bit every now and again. Yeah. Okay. So that's taking it apart. Let's put it back together. I'll just show you all the pieces in case yours got everywhere and you need to make sure you have everything. So this one, that's a little stuck. Um, there's like a roller thing here. Sometimes that comes out. Let's see. This is magnetic, but nope, that one isn't. Okay, well, it can roll and sometimes it can fall out. Um, and in the back here, we have a washer and a spring. Um, this is a, a Sculptor 2 Pro. If you have uh, an older version, you may have a washer that's not attached to your spring, in which case it can jump away. If you have an older version than that, you may have two metal washers instead. 
and those have a tendency to jump even further. So they've clearly improved the design. Uh, when I put it back in, I note where the end of the spring is. I do not want that sticking up because that way the lid can catch. So I just want to make sure that's down a little. It has to turn this way because the filament has to roll past here. Okay, so um, I have that ready. Um, if you find that this one is not in the middle of the hole, um, you can, or the the three screw holes here are not aligned, you can possibly pull on this. But first things first, let's uh, put this thing back. So you'll want to identify the flat side of it, mine is facing the camera, and this is where you want the, the little screw. Let's just get the right screwdriver here. Okay, so on the new ones here, you'll just want to align the top. I find this easiest to do if I just have a finger on top. It's rather easy for me to feel whether it's level, and then I just tighten it. Um, be careful not to strip the screw. There we go. Um, because if you strip the screw, you're going to have a very difficult time getting everything off. So once we have that in place, and we have this one, as I said, this cylinder has to be standing on one end so that these grooves match where the filament is going to come past. So what I do is I set the bottom of the spring down, and then I press it and push it down. Okay, and then we take this end and put it here. Mine is in a tiny little cabinet here, so it's not much space. Uh, has a tendency to jump out a little bit. And then this one, the feeding one, it has pretty much one direction it can turn. Otherwise you have the, the uh, cut off bottom cable turning the wrong way. So you just put those down. Um, and then you have your top. So again, the original or a self-printed one, same difference. So we put that back on. Um, this should align all the way around. Um, if I just move this a little, you can see. Um, so the block in here just comes out. In the original, you would just be able to, oh, sorry, now it sounds. Let's just take this one off, just to show it with an original here. One-handed job, there we go. So basically that should be centered. Uh, if you're having difficulties with that, perhaps find a screwdriver to sort of squeeze it in place to make the, the screw holes uh, line up, okay? So I'm just gonna put the camera back here so I have two hands to work with. Okay, so put this one back here. Okay, and mine jumps up a little bit because uh, this bowden cable is um, squeezing against the back wall. So I just screw these in. Usually once you get one in place, you know, you can feel that it's catching, um, or when I can feel it catching, I do one of the other screws, just make sure it's catching. I always find it's this one that's tricky. Um, don't know why, but this is the one. Um, and once you've tightened them all down, uh, you may find if you tighten one and then go for the others, the first one will feel loose. So you might want to just double check. It's not that they have to be super tight, but they do have to, uh, they do um, help connect things down below. Um, you may also want to occasionally just check these two screws because these are the ones, and mine are perfectly tight, like we love them, um, because these can cause the whole thing to wobble while it prints. But um, that's to how to take it apart and put it back together.